Boys and girls, what's good? It is BQ with the Impact Lounge, number one place to be for news, reviews, interviews, and more in the world of Impact Wrestling. So please hit that subscribe button. So I'm doing a brand new upload here. So I've already apologized for the misinformation I put out regarding McKenzie. And I took down the last video I did where I was talking about Alicia being hired by Impact Wrestling because I also talked about what I was told about McKenzie being released and now we know that that information is not true so i kind of want to do a brand new upload right here regarding impact wrestling signing alicia toot to do backstage interview work and i guess we're going to see going forward exactly what her role is it seems like it's probably going to be you know built around the canada tapings so we'll see we're um instead of speculating you know we're just going to see what happens going forward i'm a big fan of the girl i think she's very natural She's very young, I think about 23, so she's you know an up-and-comer in the industry, but I think she's very good, very natural, and if you're not familiar with her Ambi um, YouTube channel and website in the description here, very first line of the description, I'm going to put the link to her YouTube channel so that you could subscribe. She did a really good interview with Sue Young the other day that I think you'll enjoy, and she's interviewed damn near everyone on the Impact roster. And she's done some backstage work for the Twitch and the One Night Only shows when they're in Canada. So I think she does a really good job. And everyone seems to be pretty high on her that's a fan of the company. A lot of people think that they're her boyfriend. If you follow us, social media, everyone's in love with her. But she does a really killer job. And I think she's a good addition to the company. Not just because she's talented, but because she has her own successful brand already that she has built from the ground up. So I'm sure it's a very mutually beneficial relationship with her and impact wrestling so in the comments because there's some people who are not familiar with her work so in the comments if there is a particular interview of hers that you think people should check out um put it in the comments just just you know like i said i like the sue young interview so put oh uh, it's, you know her latest eli drake interview or congo kong or sue young or whatever it is she also interviews music artists so it's not just limited to independent wrestlers she's had the young bucks on there and all that so i personally think she does a really killer job um, ali has been on there sienna i mean everybody has been on there so i think she's a really good addition for the company and again, she's got her own successful brand that she's built from the ground up. And those are the kind of people you want to have in the fold. So if you're listening to this, Alicia, because I'm probably going to tag you in this on Twitter, I have DM'd you about you coming on the show. You conduct interviews all the time. I want to conduct an interview with you here for the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling Fan, the Impact Lounge. So hopefully you take me up on that offer. If not... Um, loyal listeners here of the lounge. She's pretty active on Twitter. So maybe you tweet at her, try to get her on my show. Uh, I would love to interview her and hopefully pick her brain a little bit because, uh, there's a lot that I admire about the way she operates and I would love to up my game as well. So thanks for listening folks. Uh, keeping this really, really brief, but again, in the comments, Leave any interviews that you would think any of the other listeners here at the lounge should check out of hers. I'll recommend the Sue Young interview that she's put up recently. But again, in the description of this video, I will put the link to her Ambi YouTube so you guys can subscribe and check out what she does. That's it for now. It's almost my bedtime. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.